Hey guys, welcome to the new channel. This is MA Fish Guy doing a video on how to breed convicts. Right there is the female, and back here is my lovely male. Um, these guys are quite easy to tell the genders on, um, just because when it comes to sexing them, the male is going to have a real nice long pointed dorsal and anal fin. And they usually have more of a blue green tint to the top and bottom fin. Whereas the females, they may have that coloration, but their fins are going to be more rounded. And they're going to have an orange belly. Um, with these guys, they're really easy to breed. They're known as the aquarium rabbit. I uh, pretty much just add water and they're going to breed. But there are a few things that you can do to help get quality fry out of it. I'm actually going to try to feed these guys, see if I can get them to come up to the aquarium glass so you can see them a little bit better. So the one with the more speckles is my boy, and then you can see the girl with the orange belly. Yeah, the fins, you can definitely see how much longer they are on the boy, if you can actually stay still. I'll try to insert a picture so you can see the difference between the two genders. But you can really breed these guys in any kind of tank setup. Uh, these guys are only a few months old, as long as you feed them some good quality uh, Flake foods, frozen foods. Uh, I do frozen bloodworms, brine shrimp. I just do the flakes just to kind of get them out so you can see them. But doing this, you can definitely intensify the coloration on them and get them into that breeding mood. So right here I have a 10 gallon, and these guys are probably about a week away from breeding. Uh, they're really not beating on each other, just chasing each other, and the females getting nice and plumped, and they are picking out this cave as a breeding environment. When it comes to pH, water quality, everything like that. You want the nitrates, nitrites, and ammonia at zero, of course, or as low as possible. Uh, the nitrate, you can have a little, like, 20 ppm. Um, that you can do, and it's not really going to affect them, but the better water quality, the better. Uh, if you do want to entice these guys not breeding right away, uh, you can try a 20% water change. That's definitely going to help kick them into the mood. They can do a slightly cooler water. Uh, I keep mine at about 78, so when I do the water change, I do it about 75, 76, and for some reason that just kind of kicks them into a better mood, and uh, improves their overall performance in breeding. Uh, and the, the point of doing these guys and feeding them quality food is to get a better number of babies, and a higher survival rate, and just a higher overall health for your baby fry. When I'm not conditioning these guys, when I was breeding them, with a past pair I had, I get about 150 eggs. When I condition them for about a week and a half separated, I get about 300 to 350 eggs, which is a huge difference in it. And just by feeding them a couple different frozen foods for a couple different days. See the female right there. So yeah, these guys aren't that bad to breed. They're a great beginner fish. Uh, I do recommend doing a 20 gallon tank if you've never done it before, but a 10 gallon works as well as long as they're the only ones in the tank and they do have quite a bit of hiding space just for the female in case the male does get a little bit of a bullying streak to them. So a 10 gallon tank, 20 gallon tank, male to female, the males have the long pointed dorsal and anal fins. Once they get to that maturity you can just definitely tell the difference. Females will have more of an orange belly. Uh, they're going to have rounded fins. Some of the males will have orange belly too, but it's not going to be as defined as it is in a female. So pretty much just put a clay pot in the tank, a couple different plants. I have a sponge filter in here so it doesn't upset the, the water flow and when they do have the baby it's not going to suck them up. And presto, you pretty much will have babies within a few weeks as long as they're at the right age. Uh, usually the age is anywhere from six to nine months that they start. I've seen some sooner, some later. It all depends on how well of a, a breeder you get them from or how well they are conditioned. So that's the main thing on breeding convicts. Like I said, pH really doesn't matter. Nitrate, nitrite, ammonia. You want to keep them as low as possible. The hardness of the water is really not going to matter or anything else. These guys are pretty much, like I said, like the aquarium rabbit. They breed for anybody and anything. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, post it down below and let me know if you have any request videos that you want me to do. 